from Derek leaving the show in a state of chaos to the show needing him so it doesn't flop, here's why Derek Morgan needs to return to Criminal Minds Evolution Season 2. When Derek left, it wasn't under the greatest of circumstances. For those of you who don't remember, let me brush up your memory real quick. Our man Morgan was the sweetest guy, and he always had the coolest banter with Garcia, aka Baby Girl. That chemistry between them was just too adorable, and fans couldn't get enough of it. But what made him even more awesome was how down-to-earth and humble he was. Despite being this super-skilled FBI agent, he never let success get to his head, and that's something we could all admire. Plus, there was that adorable hidden talent of his for fixing up houses. But man, his past wasn't all rainbows and unicorns. He went through some rough times during his childhood, dealing with abuse and all that stuff. But he came out of it like a champ and became the awesome guy we know and love. Then there was that heartbreaking moment when his father passed away. It hit him hard, but he didn't let it break him. Instead, he used it as fuel to be even stronger and better. He also went on a chaotic ride when it comes to love and family. He found the right girl and started a family of his own, but life threw some seriously tough challenges his way. Kidnapped and tortured not just once, but twice, and one of those times was when his son was about to be born. Thankfully, the writers decided not to break our hearts completely, and they spared us the agony of losing Derek by not killing him off. Because after all that chaos, he made the hardest call ever, leaving the FBI to be with his family. That's some serious dedication to being a great dad and not repeating his own father's mistakes. In real life, Shamar Moore moved on to SWAT, which was pretty cool too, but the void left by Morgan in our hearts remained. We were hoping he'd come back and fill it up again, especially now that his son would be a bit older. And there are some recent rumors that suggest he could be back. His return is looking more likely after the successful debut year on Paramount+. Plus. The FBI Behavioral Analysis Unit is making a comeback, and all the cast members who returned are expected to be part of the next season of the police procedural. Despite no official update yet, there's still hope that both Matthew Gray Gubler as Dr. Spencer Reed and Daniel Henney as SSA Matt Simmons might finally make their comebacks too. Having all these beloved characters back together would be a dream come true, and yes, that means Morgan might also make an appearance. He was right there from the beginning when Criminal Minds debuted in 2005, and his presence was a crucial part of the BAU's operations for the next decade. But as we all know, more left the show during season 11, and the character of Morgan had to be written out. But now, with the potential return of Derek in Criminal Minds Evolution, fans are beyond thrilled. Plus, I think with all delay of Evolution Season 2, having him back as a cameo could be a possibility. After an unexpected cancellation, CBS renewed SWAT for a final year, and that's great news for Shamar, who's been committed to the show. But this could actually increase the chance of him coming back to the continuing Criminal Minds franchise. When Shamar left, he got busy with his own project, but he still made a couple of cameos in Criminal Minds, and the writers kept the door open for his potential return to the Bureau. Fans were thrilled to see those little glimpses of Morgan again, but there's a slight delay in Criminal Minds evolution because of the ongoing Writers Guild strike. And sure, the delay is sad, but it might work out in our favor. By the time Shamar wraps up filming SWAT's final season, Criminal Minds Evolution might still be in production, giving him the opportunity to make a guest appearance. And let's not forget the situation the BAU is in during Criminal Minds Evolution Season 1. They're short-staffed, with Reed and Simmons separated from the team. But with Emily Prentice and her team capturing Elias Voigt, Maybe the FBI will step in and provide the unit with the funds and personnel they need to function properly. At this point, the show really needs him back. With most of the core Criminal Minds cast already involved in the show, there are limited characters left to bring back for that nostalgic touch. 
Sadly, Thomas Gibson's exit makes it unlikely for him to reprise his role as Aaron Hochner. But here's the silver lining. Shamar's Morgan is the only remaining notable profiler from the CBS run that fans have been missing for quite some time. They've been longing to see him back in action, and it would be a dream come true if Criminal Minds Evolution works out the scheduling and brings him back. Also, wouldn't it be fantastic to witness that much-anticipated reunion between Reed and Morgan? Those two had such an incredible bond, and seeing them together again on screen would be pure gold. The chemistry between them was a highlight of the show, and fans have been rooting for their reunion for a while now. So let's keep our fingers crossed that the stars align and Moore finds a way to make it work with his schedule. If Criminal Minds Evolution brings back Morgan and stage that epic reunion between him and Reed, fans would be over the moon with excitement. It would be a nostalgic treat and a fantastic way to continue the legacy of Criminal Minds. And that's not the only reason why they need to get him back. Evolution has some issues that can be dealt with if we had Derek. The show sure knows how to keep viewers on their toes with its interesting subplots. Take, for instance, the unexpected relationship between Tara Lewis and DA Rebecca Wilson. That's a plot twist that got fans excited. The show's willingness to shake up the traditional format of Criminal Minds is definitely a welcome change. It adds freshness and new dynamics to the storylines, making it an exciting watch for longtime fans. But as with any show, not all plot developments are equally well received. Some plots might be used solely to build tension, but they end up having no significant impact on the overall story. While these scenes may be intense or even funny, they can feel unproductive when they don't contribute much to moving the plot forward. Take, for example, the fake-out plot with Deputy Director Bailey threatening and demoting Rossi as unit chief. It might have created some tense moments in humor, but in the end, it didn't lead to any substantial changes in the plot or character arcs. These plot lines can sometimes leave viewers feeling a bit underwhelmed or wishing for more meaningful developments. Having Derek deal with those plot lines and tension-building scenarios would be incredibly meaningful. As an old cast member and beloved character, his presence alone would bring a sense of nostalgia. Morgan was always known for his ability to handle tough situations and bring a level-headed approach to the team. Having him address these plot issues would not only add depth to his character, but also give a sense of resolution and closure to some of the storylines. And then there's the team dynamic change. You know what made Criminal Minds such a hit? The awesome characters, man. Over the years, we've seen some changes to the team, but a few OGs have been there since the early days. Like Tara Lewis, Luke Alves, David Rossi, Emily Prentice, JJ, and our beloved Penelope Garcia. When these peeps team up to solve a case, it's magic. But hey, in season 15, things got shaken up big time. The team faced some major changes, and they weren't always working together as we were used to. Less time in the BAU office and more solo missions. Not gonna lie, it just wasn't as much fun as it used to be. But you know what would be awesome? Having Morgan back in action. The dude's a legend. His return would be like a blast from the past, in a totally good way. He'd bring the old school vibe and remind us of the good old days. With budget cuts hitting the BAU, it's been tough seeing the gang apart so often. But if Derek's back, he could be the glue that holds the team together again. That leadership and connection would be just what they need to get back in sync. So from the show needing him so it doesn't flop, to him leaving the show in a state of chaos, that's why Derek Morgan needs to return to Criminal Minds Evolution Season 2.